Risky Behavior. How are you doing? This is Risky Behavior. Recently, I conducted an experiment on Clubhouse dealing with interracial relationships. And here's how it went. Hope you enjoyed the recording. Be sure to drop a comment at the end. Interracial dating may be the answer. Interracial dating offers a myriad of benefits that contribute to personal growth, cultural exchange, and the breaking down of societal barriers. When individuals from different racial backgrounds come together, they bring a diversity of perspectives, traditions, and life experiences that can enrich each other's lives. It opens up opportunities to learn about and celebrate different cultural practices, languages, and cuisines fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation of the world's rich tapestry of cultures. Interracial relationships can also challenge preconceived notions and stereotypes, promoting tolerance and empathy as partners navigate their differences. Children born to interracial couples often grow up with a more inclusive worldview, being inherently exposed to a blend of cultures which can help them become adaptable and open-minded individuals. On a broader scale, interracial dating can contribute to societal progress by normalizing and reinforcing the message that love transcends racial boundaries, helping to build a more accepting and united community. There will be no interracial dating if everyone dates outside their race and the generation is just filled of mixed babies. To have interracial dating, you would have to have the two categories of two different races. The race would just deplete off. All blacks would deplete off. I agree with you. That's why that's what I want to happen. That way people can stop fighting and start arguing. They have nothing to fight about anymore. And technically, we all mixed up anyway but I don't know you know what I mean though aren't you tired of the whole racial thing regardless if everyone's mixed up or not there's still going to be upper class middle class and the poor class people are going to still find some way to discriminate or to show injustice towards another group of people so it might not be from race anymore. It might be from skin complexion. It might be from culture or background. It might be from religious beliefs. Like it's still going to be another thing. So it's not going to really solve anything by um, mixing everyone up. Look at the Germans back with the Holocaust. Them people were the same race, just from different countries. And them people treated them Jews like trash killed them, had a holocaust and everything, and they was the same skin complexion. But because of their religious background, that affected everything. I ain't gonna lie, you got a good point with that one. I think I'm just thinking from an American standpoint, it seems like race is the number one thing that consumes us. Like, everything you brought up was such a great point, but it seems like nobody's worried about money, or the poor or anything because they're too busy arguing about race you know the, everything you name is more important to me but it seems like they're not worried about it you know and i think america is this place that paints this picture where it's just easy for everybody to come up so i don't know if anybody's ever worried about the classisms and stuff like that so that's why I was like, you know, get rid of race, the race issue first. It's gotten so bad now that I was in a room the other day on Clubhouse and um, they were saying how they don't even want to accept mixed people. And when I was growing up, that wasn't even a thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you were mixed, you could, you know, um, identify as whatever you want it to, you know, I had like one of my best friends, my favorite cousin, she's mixed. She just always said she was black, but now, you know, you had these new black people on clubhouse that just 
you know, oh, they're not black and they don't want them a part of anything. Like I know since, you know, it was February, they were saying, oh, y'all can't even or y'all shouldn't celebrate Black History Month and stuff. So I was just like, this race stuff is just ridiculous to me. I'm hearing arguments I never heard before in my life. But there's white people that don't even accept mixed people. So it's not just a black thing. There's lots of whites that don't even accept mixed people they'll be like oh they're not white they're not look literally look at back back in the day you know back in the day they used to have the um the one drop rule if you had a drop of black in you regardless if you looked more white or not you was considered black and they was going to treat you horribly <laughs> so white people 10 times did it over and in and, and did not accept mixed people black people i feel like they're the most accepting group out of everyone Maybe they was trolling in that room. Maybe they were serious. But I feel like white people started that. They've been saying that for years. That if you have one drop of black in you, then you're black. <laughs> and on this round, the family feud. Point, point values are double. There's about four hidden answers on the board. Name a solution in the black community that black people may not be comfortable with. <laughs> Interracial dating. Show me interracial dating. Bing! Number three on the list. <laughs> Cause they ain't wanna they don't wanna hear this shit, Smelly. They don't wanna hear this shit. But I'ma share this clip. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this shit be no they don't wanna hear this, bro. I'm just saying, man, because like right behind because right behind protecting and providing and with that being second. And with the number one problem and with the number one solution that we don't want to and with the number one solution that we don't want to have, which wouldn't be criminal justice reform. It's some some other shit. But this topic right here, interracial dating, like this right here is exactly what black women come on this app all day, every day, just complaining about. We tired of y'all dating white women. We tired of y'all dating Asians. We tired of y'all dating Hispanics. Why don't y'all love us? Why don't y'all fuck with us? Y'all claim y'all want a bigger black community, but y'all not even fucking black women. Y'all won't keep y'all dicks concealed to black pussy. We don't have to. We don't have to. And don't even get me started with the narratives, because I can name 30 narratives that I haven't heard on this app against interracial dating and the top one is these black men don't want to step up and play their role and play their role in a black woman's life boy oh boy oh boy oh boy Smaley, i think you may have i think you may have cracked the safe open brother you cracked the safe open and this is your opportunity to take the gold all for yourself i'm a loyal pirate on the ship i ain't snitching i ain't giving up the gold i ain't telling nobody else where to find the shit I ain't telling nobody else where to find this shit. And when I said I was going to share the, and when I said I was going to share the clip, I was just fucking around. I was just getting excited. But yeah, I ain't telling nobody else where to find the gold. But you, my friend, you have cracked open the treasure chest. Take it all for yourself. Be loyal to yourself because that's what you gotta be in this world. As much as people want you to be loyal to them, they will turn on you in a heartbeat, whether they are black or not. You crack that safe open. If you found that goal by yourself, you have it by yourself. You found that goal with somebody else, you share it with somebody else. However you succeed in this lifetime, whoever fucked with you, when you succeeded, you fuck with them. That's who you share your success with, whether they black or not. And I don't understand why black people and I don't understand why black people can't get this through their thick heads. Everybody is not gonna be kissing your ass just because we live in the same neighborhood and we going through the same shit. Because this motherfucker's going through the same shit, killing each other, manipulating each other every day. But I'm supposed to just subject myself to that. Yeah, I right. listen. Like I said, you crack that safe open. If if it if if you by yourself had to get to that goal and you had to scratch and claw to get to that goal and you had to fight other ships and and you had to fight other ships in order for your ship not to be torn down for that ship to be held up for you to get to that goal, then you take it for yourself and your crew. O M G, sis, you got more patience than I do. What in the white supremacist, self-hating, self-annihilation, genocidal propaganda is this brother speaking? Absolutely absurd. 
Wow. I, I wish you well. I wish a healing come over your mental state. Yeah. People say that when they don't have identity, when they're cut off from their history, when they don't know who they are, when they don't have land, when they don't govern land, when they are in a, uh, what's the word? <sighs> ah. Can't think of it right now. Uh, but I'll say sleeping with the enemy. What in the... Can we all just get along? What in the... Little black boys and little black girls, white girls... Is the fuck going on? I swear! I have never heard anything so crazy. Oh, I mean, wow, this is top tier. Self-annihilation. The sister is correct. Because they won't be quote-unquote black they won't be quote-unquote white but the so-called black people or the aboriginals or the land owners or the resource owners and have been overthrown with not war psychological warfare with miseducation and propaganda and here the brother is taking it even further wow like plant the seed of self-destruction and watch it grow into ideas like this instead of dealing with the problem at hand we've been invaded by an unsavory unfavorable force And eating away at our psyche and our intellect that these are the types of ideas that someone in this self-deprivation comes up with. Wow. This should be a scientific study. I think it's an anomaly. But coming from, you know, so-called black men... Uh, who are probably at the lowest quote unquote social class in a white supremacist society because they want to already genocide you so you're going to assist <clears throat> it, it, it's, it's unfortunately all too common today with the young people wow I can't even act like I didn't hear this. Uh -uh. Mm. I, I hate to sound so crass and so irate, but when you talk about genocide of a aboriginal people, not the new people that you call white, but the genocide, the, the, the self-annihilation, Propaganda is a threat. I think, yeah, I'm responding appropriately. Again, the sister, <sighs> hats off to you, sis, that you can face such a threat with such calm, uh, with such a calm attitude. I give you uh, props as an Aboriginal woman, of course. <sighs> And I'm glad you were able to, you know, reason with them. But this is such a, a, an assault on my psyche. Yeah, I, I'm in defense mode like a mug. Like, talk to your parents, young man. Uh, you look like, if that's you in the, in the image, you look like you got a, a Aboriginal mother and father. You need to go back to the drawing board. You need to. So you need some serious um, uh, spiritual 
mental health and not of the foreign kind. Maybe go and read uh, the healing wisdom of Africa. I'm not African, I'm American, but they got some jewels in that book. Um, yes, start there. Just you need something to get your mind right because your mind is wrong, 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 wrong. See, I told you they didn't want to hear this. And look how look how stumbled they are. Look how stumbled they are. Look, look how much this person is struggling to even speak right now. Look how it stumbles them. But it's so true. It's breaking down their head as they talk because they they cannot talk against this. They cannot talk against this to save their own life. Like literally, they cannot talk against this to save their own life. It's nothing y'all could do. It's nothing y'all could do. Just like y'all could venture out, we could venture out. It's nothing you could do to change that. You cannot denominate the entire black male species to only fuck with black females. It's just not gonna happen. But y'all will continue to fight with y'all words because you you can't fight with your vagina. You can't. You can't. And, and I can't fight with my penis. So why am I going to try? Why am I going to try? The term I was looking for is Stockholm Syndrome. Look up Stockholm Syndrome. Because you've been uh, amongst the enemy too long that you aiding and abetting the agenda to annihilate the aboriginal people from their land so that there will be no recourse, no recuperation, no redress. Please find yourself, find your mind, rethink your thinking. It's wrong, it's off, it's sad. Again, I wish you well. King, it's a few things you don't know. First of all, you don't carry the lineage. Aboriginal women do. You are a newcomer. You're just not as new as the uh, pale faces. Stop your propaganda. Okay? Um, we carry the mitochondrial. Not white women. Not white men and not you <laughs> you are who your mother is I don't care if you venture out you are just self annihilating yourself boo boo you not, you not harming aboriginal women aboriginal women can recreate themselves Boo boo, we, don't, we really don't need you. And if you go by your white supremacist uh, scientists, they say men will be no longer in existence in a few hundred years. So, how's that? Baby, you are an XY. I am an XX. You actually, you are X and a broken X. You was a oops. Don't get it twisted. Aboriginal women been on this planet long before men. You better act like you know something up in here, which obviously you don't. You're not scaring Aboriginal women for going somewhere else. You are the one that's going to uh, put your seed in a void womb. You ain't going to have another child that look like you ever. You go right ahead and self-annihilate. If that's what you want to do, if you want to damn crash out, go right ahead. Let me all the streets, put some banana peels down so you can slip and fall into your annihilation. And this is a nonsensical conversation, but it's so freaking absurd. Yes, I'm struggling to find words to address such an idiotic concept of self-genocide, self-annihilation. Who does that? Who does that? Species seek to recreate themselves, to prolong their species. All species do it except you Negroes. 
interracial dating ain't even that bad. Like, a lot of people don't even interracial date for the same reason why they don't eat pineapples on pizza. Someone said it was gross. They thought about the pineapples on the pizza and they never tried it and they just said no. Same childish ass mentality. If you haven't even done it, you can't even talk about it. So, like, I don't know. People are just ignorant. That's all it really is. It's been very interesting hearing everyone's point of view regarding this topic. I kind of wanted to um, share my experience. Um, I consider myself a mixed Afro-Latina woman. Um, A lot of people are shocked when I tell them what I'm mixed with. My mother is Jamaican and half Puerto Rican, and she was born in Jamaica. And then my father, he's Spanish and half Lebanese and was born in Spain. And I am first generation born in Dominican Republic. Growing up with such a diverse background really taught me a lot about each culture that I am a part of. It taught me to look at the world in a different way. I embraced it. I also grew up in diverse um, religious backgrounds. And at a point in my life, I was also confused in what I wanted to believe in, you know, because one part of my family was Muslim. Another part of my family was Christian. Another part was Catholic and so on. So it was very confusing. Um, A lot of times I just didn't know where I fit. But as I got older and I started you know, developing my own personality, getting to know who I really am. Um, I took some time and I talked to myself, how do I want to represent myself? What do I believe in? What do I feel comfortable in? And being a mixed woman, um, I grew up obviously not knowing where I fit, right? So... A lot of people might consider me a light-skinned person or they think that I'm white because I'm light-skinned, but I never identified as a white person. I know that I'm not black enough either, even though my mom is technically black. And it was very confusing and stressful growing up with the stereotyping and all of that. And so... As I got older, I just decided I'm going to embrace every positive part of the cultures that I'm a part of. So I then started a natural hair journey. So I now rock my curls because growing up, I was made to feel like I had to have my hair straight and put relaxers in my hair. So a part of me representing who I am, I represented in my hair and whatnot. So... Yeah, that's just a part of it. I know it's probably not relevant in a way, but um, also being a mixed woman, I have always been open to dating people of different cultural backgrounds. And because I am a Caribbean person, I tend to be attracted to people who are Caribbean as well, because I feel like we have more things in common especially like in terms of the things that we eat the music that we listen to you know our attitudes and things like that so um it's never been a color thing for me but more of attraction and um i think it's time that people stop judging others or the book by its cover right because we don't know who people really are until we get to know them right so i think the main focus should be on when we choose a partner is this person gonna have a positive impact in our life is this person going to 
promote growth in my life? Can I create a healthy relationship with this person? You know, and I'm fortunate that the person that I am currently with, like, checks those boxes. And this is actually the healthiest relationship that I've ever been in. And he's from Dominica. So he's also a Caribbean man. And we got along so well. And I know that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with that person. And I love that he embraces me for who I am. And I embrace him for who he is. Not the color of his skin. None of that. I love him for who he is and vice versa. And that's what matters. And I think that everyone should respect each other regardless of what they look like or where they're from or their complexion or who they are. Respect equals peace. And I just want people to focus on spreading love and positivity instead of trying to separate themselves or whatever the case shout out to everyone i appreciate y'all sharing um appreciate you king and uh doso and her and miss my kitty um i appreciate it um especially uh especially um you miss kitty thank you for sharing your experience and your life um it meant a lot to me and that's why I made this topic is because I notice a lot of blacks nowadays nowadays they do to other people what they say the white people did to them and I I don't think that's right. You know, if you think something is wrong for someone else to do then you shouldn't do it to other people. And um I know I say interracial dating, but to me, technically, there is no interracial dating at all. We're all mixed up. I I got a homeboy. He he dark skinned just like me. He um, became a mason and he's he decides one day that he's going to go do the whole DNA and all that stuff. He got like he got two tests done just to be sure, you know, because some people say, oh, it's fake and stuff. So he, he went to two of them. He did his research and he's heavy into that type of stuff. And man, he was mixed up with so much stuff inside of him. It was, it was ridiculous. And um, it reminds me of an old Paul Mooney joke when he said the white man loves to look at his family tree. Just look at it, because if he shakes it, a nigga will fall out. And it's the same thing with black people. You know, some people say, "Oh, you know." pure black and i asked him i said what is a pure black i was like you know everybody is um mixed up and i think that in the times that we are currently living in with all the knowledge and technology and everything we have i can't believe that people are still fussing about something so silly when you should just be with somebody that treats you nice and treats you well be a part of a family that you can actually grow and be a part of and people respect you. And, you know, like Miss Mayat, you brought up, you know, species stick with species. It's, it's a human species. That's why we can mate and have children with each other. If we, if we were just these different species, we wouldn't be able to have kids with each other. It wouldn't work, you know? And I don't, you know, I know you said it seemed like we're trying to destroy ourselves, but you're not destroying yourself by by doing that. You know, we're all mixed up anyway. So my thing is put the race thing to the side. You you're talking about the color of skin. My wife is the same color as Kitty, you know, and a mom's black, a dad's black, but people look at her and want to tell her what she's not you know and so i just feel like hey we all was just mixed up anyway which we already are but people just wouldn't have anything to argue about maybe they'll stop arguing about the color of skin and judging each other and they would just go by something called character 
uh, to the mix, young lady. You're talking about culture. Uh, I was still confused. Uh, maybe you assume that uh, uh, Jamaican or Puerto Rican um, identified a particular race of people. Um, the Aboriginal people of that land are the people that are so-called black. So if that's what you meant, then I can understand your comment about those different cultures. But you're basically speaking about culture. Uh, sounds like uh, you said Spain and, and Lebanese again. Uh, because you call yourself mixed, I would assume, even though Spain was originally Aboriginal, so-called black, uh, <clears throat> that that's where the uh, pale skin family members came in uh, again. You're talking about culture, you're talking about religion, and uh, I'm talking about pedigree. I'm talking about aboriginals and non-aboriginals. Um, and it's a system called whitening, where uh, white people are introduced into the aboriginal cultures to melodicize uh, the aboriginals. And then those uh, mulattoes often uh, promote the um, genocidal culture of white supremacists who have in invaded and mulatticized uh, those Aboriginal nations and then disenfranchising those Aboriginals from their land their resource and even their culture and acting like uh, we are black and we are not uh, the Aboriginal Jamaican. We are not the Aboriginal Puerto Rican when we are. When we are uh, pretending we are not the Aboriginal American. When we are uh, pretending like we are not the Aboriginal European or the Aboriginal Asian when we are. And all those different uh, nations and cultures that go along with it and um, putting us in this category of black that court cases in the uh, United States uh, sought to disenfranchise the American Indian who is so-called black uh, from their land <sighs> ruled that <clears throat> some Indians based on uh, probably their complexion would be called white and others would be called black. Black has no standing in law. It's not a part of the Constitution, even though the Constitution was given by the American Indian to the uh, European colonies. So this is all the background. And so, again, being disenfranchised, being uh, genocided, uh, by this uh, melodicizing, and this whitening <clears throat> and then uh, denying and then assuming our, our culture and our names is a problem. And that's what I'm speaking to. And this young man started this thread to further uh, propagate such uh, genocide. See, this is the thing. This is the shit I'm talking about. Why did you have to reference her as a mixed young lady? You couldn't just reference her as a young lady. She's a woman just like you are. But yet you have to point out the fact that she's mixed. Like, I don't get I don't get this shit, bro. I don't get this shit. Like. Like you, you like you're really the only person to point out the color of something as if it matters. Like the red ball could be bigger than the blue ball. But you won't even look for size. You'll just look for the color. And that's OK. That's your preference. But it's like. She's a mixed woman. And even I don't even know if she's mixed, but whether she is or she's not, again, she literally just said, don't judge a book by its cover. And you literally addressed her cover. You literally like, like, what's good with you? What's good with you? Like, you got you got some you got some regurgitated discrimination from your past that you got to unpack or something like 
I don't know. Did, did somebody hurt your feelings? Did somebody hurt your feelings and then told you the reason they hurt your feelings was because you was black or because you wasn't white or because you wasn't mixed? Because you sure got this. You sure got these like fucking microaggressions about everybody else being mixed or not being black or not acting black. Like, I'm like, I I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but the Black Panther Party has been exonerated. Like, I'm sorry. Dr. King isn't here anymore. Malcolm X isn't here anymore. It's 2024. Like, you want to go back to the 60s and the 70s. We're not in that time anymore, bro. Like, you got to actually speak to people as if they're human people. Not by their color, but as if they're human people, bro. And it's people that don't do that that are the reason why we even still have these fucking problems. Like, damn. Relax. She's just a, she's just a woman making a statement. Why not respect her as such? Why you got to be... Oh, you're mixed. You're mixed. Like, what? what is all that for? What is all that for? I'm black and I don't even do that. What is that for? But again, when 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 the circus gets shut down, the clowns got to find their own work. And that's why. And that's what I think you are right now. You a clown looking for your own work. You a clown looking for your own little silly entertainment. And nobody's hosting a circus for you to have do all this silly shit. So you so you mad right now. Honestly, like, damn, relax. Hey, so. Hey, so to King, Shamali, and to Miss Kitty, um, I don't think what she, and also to the other guy, I don't think what um, the lady at the bottom, I forgot her name, Netra, I think, something with the end. I don't think she's saying that she's upset about you all dating outside of race. I don't think she's saying that in, in, um, interracial dating is bad or wrong. I think what she is saying is, don't let interracial beating <clears throat> don't try to date outside your race solely because you just want a white partner or a mixed race child that's what i think she's saying i don't think she's saying dating outside your race is wrong and you need to find a black person and and this and this and this i don't think that's what she's saying i just think that she's saying like you all said choose someone that likes you for you and that's going to uplift you and be a positive impact in your life not dating someone because they are white and they will give you mixed race children. Because when I'm hearing from um, King and when I'm hearing from the other guy is that you should be dating these white women because it's just the best. It's the answer to all the problems of the black race and of the world. No, um, you should be dating the person, like you said, Miss Kitty, because of them being a positive impact in your life. Not because they're white and you want white ki kids and you feel like that's just going to be the best option for you. Also, to add in, I honestly feel like black people are the most upset, um, accepting and tolerant of a lot of BS that we go through. So I don't really understand the mindset of black people do things that white people, that they shame white people for. White people have done so much more. White, black people are very accepting and open arm to LGBT, to white people, to everyone. Literally, appropriation occurs because of that, to be honest. So I don't think that <clears throat> um, anyone can say black people are intolerant to a lot of things when black people are the most accepting and open armed. I think black people are now just trying to become more intolerant and more restrictive with certain things because they've seen that it really doesn't help them in the long run. Honestly, I mean, if somebody wants to date outside their race because they solely want somebody else out their race, isn't that their own preference? Like, I mean, you're saying that that's what she said, but that's still that still isn't an equal statement. Like, OK, there's plenty of people like there's plenty of black men I know that woke up and just chose, hey, I want a white woman. Hey, I want a Spanish woman. Hey, I want an Asian woman. That's what they want to do. That's who they want to fuck. Just like there's plenty of black women that don't want to fuck black men, but we don't wake that up ever, do we? Like, this is people's personal choices. And at the end of the day, I don't care. There's no reason why you should be coming here making a political statement about personal sexual choices. Nobody else in here is really doing that. But uh, so I'm not even going to lie. Like, it's not even that we it's not even like we campaigning for this shit so hard. Like, oh, no, nah, don't talk about it. But all we're saying is it's a personal preference. If that's not what you want to do, that's you. If that's what you want to do, that's you. Like, for real. 
But we're not going to leave out the part that Kitty said something and she literally addressed her as a mixed woman instead of just addressing her as a woman and just respecting what she had to say equally. That's the shit I don't get. Why the fuck we got to be unequal when we disagree? Why can't we just agree to disagree? Why somebody always got to politic why they think something? Like, that's the shit that, that's the shit that be catch. that's the shit that be throwing me for a loop. No funny shit, her. That's the shit that throw me for a loop. But if we want to politic it, and if we want to have a serious conversation about it, and if we do want to point out the social ups and downs of it, like, every black man cannot procreate and marry every black woman. Like, especially in the United States of America where we're integrated with other races. Like, again, there are countries... Where there's only where there's black people only marrying black people, and even in some of those countries, you may have a few exceptions to the rule. Like, you like every like for every rule in society, there's a fucking exception. Like every rule is just like a promise. It is only built to be broken. It is not built to stand for hundreds and thousands of years for generations of people to abide. People are going to mix. People are going to procreate outside of the race. Why must that be a political issue, though? For the 10th time, why is that a political issue? Why is it, why is that a political thing? Why do some black women act like it's the end of the world? They act like it's the end of the world. The minute a black man sticks his dick in something that's not black, but yet and still, they could come on this app and talk about black men that are non-select, black men that we shouldn't be giving coochie to. Some of y'all black women will say, I'm not giving no coochie to that nigga. And then pander and get mad when he find another woman outside of his community that actually want to fuck him. Like, how much control do y'all want? How much control do y'all want over men? Dead ass. That's the that's question I be asking black women all the time. Why do y'all want to control us so bad? Like, for real. Because we not out here trying to control y'all. We not out here trying to control who y'all fuck. At least I'm not. At least I'm not. I, I, could, I, I could watch somebody choose somebody else. Like, but a lot of people don't have that same self-esteem. Because a lot of people feel like, a lot of people feel like they can't be comfortable in their own skin without bullying somebody else for their choices and it is what it is like this is the world we live in and this is why i don't talk nice all the time because you got some people that are asked for it so based off the topic and what everyone was saying what i got from the other few people that were talking like miss kitty um what the guy at the left hand corner was saying and what shamali was saying was they someone that had a positive impact in your life so that's the only reason why I commented on um, her at the bottom having um, Miss I forgot her name something with the N having a problem with maybe someone dating outside the race because they're solely choosing someone because of them just being white. When Shamali and um, I forgot her name again, the lady at the top just said Miss Nitty just said to date someone that's a positive impact in your life. And that is a problem within itself. Dating someone solely because they're white, that's a self-hatred. That's a colorist thing. It goes deeper than just dating someone because they're white. It's it's a lot of other things internally that's going on with that person and with that individual. Who chooses just to date someone solely because they're white? I mean, I don't know any positive benefits out of, I just want to date someone white because I just want to date someone white. I don't know any, you don't live longer, you don't get certain rewards i don't know what is the main positive impact about that just because they're white i'm dating them i don't understand that so that and secondly you said that um a lot of black women are super upset when black men date white women i don't think that's true at all i think actually a lot of black women just be like okay cool on to the next i honestly feel like black men have more of a problem honestly they feel like when black women date outside their race, then they have more of a problem with that. A lot of black women are actually very, very, very um, restrictive with dating black men. There's more black women that want to date black men than there's black men that want to date black women. A lot of black women are very loyal to their race and culture. A lot of them don't want to go outside of their own race. Sorry, a lot of black women only choose to... A lot of black women that I know that may go outside their race or something like that, they only choose to go outside their race because they feel like there's not enough, um, I guess, competent men or successful black men or black men that don't have this, this going on, this going on, this going on, this going on. And that's the only reason why they go outside their race. I don't really know any black woman that's like, I just want a white man because of white men. Unless they're just now doing that because they want to upset the black men because of what the black men have said to them over and over and over since the 90s, since the 80s, since before 
times begin, they were telling black women all the time, your hair is nappy, you look like this, you're dark, you're monkey, I like light-skinned women, I like this, I want this. And black women have tried to mutilate and change themselves so much to become what a black man desires. They have done that so much. Black women are getting all types of surgeries and BBLs and, and getting this and trying to bleach their skin solely because of men. And to be honest, the black man, honestly... They're only getting all these things changed to themselves because they want a black man. Honestly, they want a black man. They're wearing the lace front. They're getting their hairs relaxed and permed. They're getting BBLs and surgeries. Not for themselves, honestly. They're getting it because they're trying to attract black men. They want black men that want them. But most black men are not saying they want them. They want a white woman or a lighter skinned black woman or a mixed race um, woman or whatever the situation is. So I don't know where you got that from to say, oh, black women are just dating out their race. No one complains about that. They're not dating them outside the race in large groups as black men are doing it. <sighs> Very much so. And I don't think anyone has a problem with interracial dating. That's what you're not understanding. It's the whole thing about you saying, like she said, annihilation. All black people should date outside their race. What type of advice is that, honestly? And honestly, interracial datings have problems as well. There's lots of black, white people that date black people solely for fetishes. Solely for fetishes. And outside of that, they do not like black people. They'll be the first person to call the police on you because you've done this wrong to them. There was just a story about this white woman killing her husband for something. And she lied and said he was attacking her. And he did not do anything to her. There's plenty of other stories like the Emmett Till situation when a black they said that the black guy whistled at her... And she told everyone that he was harassing her and flirting with her and everything. And now he's dead. He died at the age of what, 12, 13? Because of what a white woman told people. So, what's up? Um, her, I um, agree with some of what you said. Um, however, I disagree with some of it. Um, the guy, the black guy that played Luke Cage, um, when he went on the TV show, it might've been Wendy Williams. And when he showed a picture of his wife and, um, she wasn't a dark skinned black woman, the women booed him. Um, they had a swirl movement that was started by black women with white men. Men don't typically bother black women about dating outside their race um black women usually are the ones attacking black men meek mill took a picture with a girl that wasn't dark skinned black they assumed she was like latino or white and they straight up attacked him and slaughtered him on the um, internet the same thing happened with michael b jordan you know so black women do have a issue and have a problem with that. The same way if um, Kim Kardashian um, wears a certain hairstyle, they fire her up for cultural appropriation. Black guys don't typically attack the white guys on the internet with dreadlocks in their hair. They just don't, we just don't, we don't really care at all. Now, but you are correct though, that may be because black women are the most race loyal. Even um, according to dating apps, um, because everybody's on the internet. So they have that data. They know who people choose to date when they go through these dating apps. And black women do choose black men um, over everyone else. So I do agree with you on that point. And to your other point, when you said dating somebody because they're just white or, you know, or Asian or whatever, I agree with you. That would be problematic. Um, but I do not believe that most people are dating someone just simply because they are white and that's why i brought up the whole thing about being with somebody that um is just a good person to you you know a lot of times uh people see someone dating outside their race and they assume things like self-hate and i'm not saying that's something that you do or anyone on this stage is i'm not saying that's what anyone on this stage does but you know i've dated a white girl before and it wasn't because she was white it wasn't because I didn't like black women. It was just, I was in the laundry mat one day washing my clothes and I just so happened to meet her and she was nice and we dated and we went out and it was fine and 
we were young and it lasted for as long as it lasted. But I think that most people are not dating someone simply because they're white or anything or because of self-hate. I think that's a made up thing. It's just that you have some black people that don't want to be bound by the color of their skin. The issue is not self-hate or why somebody's dating outside their race. I think the issue is that you have people that want to date outside of their race. They want to try new things, but they're so afraid because in our black culture, we talk about people like they ain't nothing if they step outside of the norm. Like we really do. Because what's equally as sad is seeing someone that you really like and you're in the freest country in the world and you can't date them because you're afraid of what everybody else is going to say. And it, and it's not even just dating. You, you have people who are ashamed of how smart they are because in our culture, oh, you a nerd, you lame, you you know what I mean? You have people pretending to be thugs and to be harder than what they really are because they don't want to admit that they're super smart and that they're artists and that they want to be an engineer, or that they want to be a lawyer, a doctor, or that God forbid they say they want to be a police officer. They, they'll, they'll call them, oh man, you're going to be a snitch, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. So I think the real issue is being able to step outside of black culture and what people want to dictate and tell you what you are all the damn time. It's so exhausting being black. I can't just be regular. And I heard somebody say this on the internet before. It's like, sometimes you can be a little jealous of white people because it seems like white men, they can just be whatever the hell they want to be. And their culture don't say a damn thing to them. But when you black, you got to be put in a damn box all the time. If you date outside your race, that means you hate yourself. That's ridiculous. That's the issue. It's not self-hate. No. You date who you want. You date who you like. Most people dating outside their race is not walking up to somebody and saying, oh, you got white skin. I want to be with you. I, I don't believe that. And if it was a person that did that, that no, if there was some people that was doing that, that number would be so, 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 so small. It wouldn't even be worth talking about those people. Oh, and the other thing I was going to address, too, you brought up what I would call, I guess, beauty standards. I remember talking to my grandma one day. I was in what high school and uh, I love my grandma. We close. She's not you know, here anymore, but, um, I look at my grandma's legs and said, grandma, I was like, you got hairy legs. I'm just, I don't know why I never noticed it before. I was like, grandma, you got hairy legs. Right. She said, boy, this is how we used to have them, you know? And my granddad, he was there and he said, yeah, man, we love that, you know, back, um, you know, back in that day or whatever. Right. And my grandma said, you know what? She said, black women always had hairy legs. We was always dressing this way, dressing a certain way. She said, you know, when things started to change. And I said, what, grandma? And she said, when black women started trying to follow and be like white women. If you go back and look at old hip hop videos, black women never had these fat jungle booties. Never. Go back and look at some old rap videos. Our women had curves. But they always were kind of like petite, athletic built. You know what I mean? They never had all this other stuff. It's um, TV and the internet that has changed all women over time. Chasing behind this um, fashion industry and media and stuff trying to change what a woman should look like. Men never knew about BBLs to request women to go get BBLs. And you got a whole wave of especially black men saying that we do not want y'all to get BBLs. We want natural. We don't want all that weave in your head. And the minute we say that, we get attacked. I told Now, I don't know how anyone else in here defines loyalty. But when I'm loyal to somebody, right, when I'm loyal to somebody from a social standpoint or a mutual standpoint or a community standpoint, 
my definition is I'm not about to sit here, right? I'm not about to sit here and literally boo you and bury you over every little thing that I see wrong with something. Like, eventually, people are going to make their own choices type shit. And I get it that, you know, and I get it that black women are loyal to black men, this, that, and the third. But, and I'm sorry if this sounds like a rejection bias. I'm sorry if this sounds like, I'm sorry if this sounds like the bench, the, the bench warmer just isn't getting enough play, playing time and he's just mad because he's just not the best guy on the team. But what happens, right? What happens to the black men that don't get chosen by black women? They get chosen by other women, right? See, this is the thing that black women got to understand. Everybody's not sitting here being single for y'all. Everybody's not sitting here just sitting in a room just waiting for y'all to communicate with them. And that's not even an issue with black women. That's an issue with a lot of women. A lot of women really just think that men are just going to sit in their pocket and just sit in their inbox. Because let's be honest, so many black women are used to getting two to 300 text messages a day or a week. Whether they exaggerate that number or whether that number is true, every guy is not like that. Certain guys... If you only respect them a certain way, they're only going to respect you a certain way. And certain guys, if you don't want to deal with them sexually, they're going to deal with other people sexually. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And when and, and when there's black women who don't get chosen by enough black men for whatever reason, they go outside their race. And like Shmaley said, we don't make an issue about it. We, we're we not the ones critiquing Meek Mill for dealing with light-skinned women. We're not the ones politicking Michael B. Jordan dealing with light-skinned women because... As black men, we understand that there's plenty of women to go around. Women can't understand that there's plenty of women to go around. And whenever we say that, they feel like, oh, so you're saying we're objects? You're saying we're not special? No, obviously that's not what we're saying. But we're just being realistic about the situation. And I feel like black women are just not realistic about the situation of Every black man is not going to be with every black woman. I just feel like they're not really realistic about it. They really be expecting every black man to just sit there and just wait to deal with them. And then what makes it even worse, right? Not even to come, not even to come at, not even to come at people with multiple baby mothers, baby fathers and shit. But it's like everybody is not going to, everybody is not going to accept the terms and conditions of your proximity. Like, that's just what it is. And some people, if they're not the one, they're going to find somebody to be the one for it. Most people, if they can't fuck you, they're going to find somebody else to fuck. Like, this is like this whole cat and mouse game where every black man got to chase every black woman. Every black woman got to chase every black man. It's not going to be the case. We cannot play Tom and Jerry all day, every day with each other. At some point, we just going to have to honestly put it. Hey, you're just not my type. You know how many times I've heard black women told me you're just not the typical black man. And you know what I do? I walk off with it. And I will deal with women in other races, right? Knowing that the knowing that the narrative is these black women don't see me as a typical black man. And what's funny is black women get defensive and say, just don't do it to disrespect black women. Just don't do it to disrespect black women. Y'all will say and do shit to disrespect us all the time. Especially when shit don't go y'all way. Like but y'all will sit here and play victim and act like somebody's disrespecting y'all or act like somebody's not choosing y'all. We all got a fucking choice. Like, for real, for real. But it's just, you know what? I get it. We not in high school anymore where we could just go around and tell other people that that guy is ugly and nobody's going to choose him. Yeah, we're adults. In, in, this, in this part of life, in this part of life, people can move the fuck around. We're not in school with each other Monday to Friday where we're sitting in the classroom. We got to learn from each other and shit. No, Monday to Friday, we got jobs. And if that job don't want to fuck with me, I'm going to get a different I'm gonna get a different fucking job. Because there's many different ways to make money. And there's many different ways to find what you want in this world, bro. And, uh, and I just feel like everybody's a critic when they can't hit it. You feel me? Everybody's a critic when they can't hit it. That's just that's just that's just natural within the consum- within the within the sexual consumption of human beings. Everybody's a critic when they can't hit it. Everybody want to talk shit about somebody they can't fuck. That's just life, bro. But to get defensive about it and to make it seem like we just dealing with other races of women to disrespect y'all. Some of these men be doing that because they tired of y'all disrespecting them. But y'all never see it that way because y'all used to black men treating y'all like these victims and treating y'all like these women that never had shit and and deserve everything. Like y'all black women really be chasing a Cinderella story. Like it's not always going to work like that. Like in reality, some of y'all black women need to get it in y'all heads. 
every little petty conversation y'all have in y'all little tea parties don't hold no weight no more. When we was 13, 14, 15, 16, we had to care if, you know, Kitty and her pretty friends didn't want to talk to Shmaley or didn't want to talk to me. But they wanted to, but they wanted to talk to Ron instead, or they wanted to talk to the ball player Kyle instead. High school, middle school niggas cared about that. We grown now, we grown now. We got other options now. We got other people to talk to now. Like, and at the end of the day, when we come to school, we not coming back home to our parents, parents doing homework, eating dinner, and being good little boys and good little girls. No, we're adults. We're adults. And in the adult world, if you don't want to fuck with somebody, they're going to find somebody who want to fuck with them. That's another thing y'all black women got to understand. Y'all not going to be 18 forever. Y'all not going to be 16, 21 forever. This little high school prom, this little high school prom mentality y'all got that a nigga just going to be in the, that a nigga just going to be in that courtroom and be on that dance floor until you talk to him. That is not the fucking reality. Get that shit out y'all fucking heads. And I swear every other race gets it. Every other race gets it, but the black community, because it's like nigg- niggas is just so used to playing cat and mouse with these females. And I'm just not one of those. And I'm just not one of those dudes. You don't want me. I'm going to find somebody who want me. If no black woman wants me, I'm going to find another woman that want me. If no woman in my city want me, I'm going to go outside the city for a woman that wants me. I've done it before, and I will gladly do it again if I have to. You want to know why men are like that? Because men are used to having a plan B. Something about the words plan B be feeling like an attack to black women because they feel like the first because they feel like the first idea they got or the first preference they got it just gotta be that, and if it's not that then something is wrong. No, sometimes things just don't work. Sometimes things just don't work, and sometimes you have to explore other things. Why do people have to be considered enemies for expanding their minds and expanding their and ex- and expanding their proximities? Just because you want to sit in a bubble all day, that's you, bro. And, and, men, and black men don't care to judge you for that. But you know what it is? So many of y'all want to be saved from y'all own minds. Nobody can save you from your mentality but yourself. Nobody can sit here and save you, for, and save you, from, and save you from thinking within yourself. No, you got to do the work to expand. You got to do the work to expand and see better options for yourself if this ain't what is working. Now, if this is what's working for you, fine. It ain't going to work for everybody else. Like, Seriously. And I don't even know why this even has to be a conversation. But again, the reason why this has to be a conversation, a lot of people just haven't grown up yet. A lot of people are still stuck on what they was taught in middle school, what they was taught in high school and what they saw before they turned 18 and 21. So a lot of people grow up into their 20s, 30s and 40s thinking that in the adult world, in the real world, that is going to play out. The way that they was told in their little bedtime stories and the way that they was told in history classes. It is 2024. It is 2024. Those textbooks are written about about the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and maybe some of the 90s. We are not in that time anymore. Grow up. Get your head out of your ass. It's a new fucking day. Every day is a new opportunity. But some people fail to realize that. Yeah, ultimately, especially on this app, I think black people care too much about what other black people think. And black people need to stay in their own business. Um, I think if you genuinely just love a person, regardless of what skin tone, hair texture, skin type, whatever uh, they have, just go for it. Rock out. Like, I'm glad I grew up in a mixed community because I didn't I didn't I didn't grow up with this stupid, immature pressure on me that the community likes to put on other people because they move differently like it's just it's just weird behavior honestly you know that's why i have a hard time connecting with some opinions with when it comes to dating with some black people because it's just so dated and jaded i mean i get it you know to a degree with with uh some of the points y'all making as to why people date outside of race. like i understand that but like Unless you actually know why someone's doing it, just shut the fuck up and move on. Like, that's how I feel. Um, Doso, I don't think you even um, listened to everything I said earlier. I think we said earlier there's no problem with interracial dating. I just literally said the problem within it is when you say you only want to date a white person because they have white skin. That's what I was saying. Like, Miss Nettie was saying earlier... <clears throat> Um, she was saying that they someone that would have a positive impact in your life 
we all agree with that. But based off what King is saying is, and what Shamali is saying is, just date someone because they're white, because we need to end the black race and now solve the problem of, I guess, the racial injustice and the racial problems that we have in, in the USA. Um, I don't agree with that. Um, also, to add on, Shamali, black women always had bigger or romp um, ASSs. They did compared to other women. Um, first off, you have to realize that um, a lot of times the women that were really thick, they weren't broadcasted. So maybe just because you don't see in the videos the bigger girls, the real thick BBWs and stuff like that wasn't shown in videos, that's because a lot of times they weren't celebrated at those times. But the BBW girls were alive and existing. My great-great-grandmother had a big, big butt. My grandmother, my, my mom... All of them have very wide hips, butts, small waist, all of that. Thick thighs. That's something that's really natural in the black community. You can even look back to slavery times when the black the black woman, they were, I don't know her name. I have to start, find and search for it. It was a black lady. She had a really romp big butt. And the white men used to just rape her and sell her and use her as like a, like a um, almost as if she was like a, an animal in the auction or something and just make men pay to have sex with her and do all types of crazy things with her and talk about her ass being so big. I forgot the name of the mo- the book, but um, black women always had big butts. They just weren't celebrated and shown back in those days. Nowadays, everyone wants a fat ass. Everyone does. So now you see more of the BBWs and the, 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 the real thick women being shown and accepted because a lot of men accept that. Back then, the beauty standard was to be skinny. Back then, men wanted skinny women. Publicly, at least. Privately, they was having sex with the bigger girls. But publicly, they wanted a skinny, small-framed woman because that was seen as a beauty standard. That was seen as the most ultimate feminine type of woman. A dainty, small woman. Um, The other thing I was going to say is... um, To respond to King... You're almost as playing like the victim game. You're saying like black men have just tried their best to talk to black women and black women are the fault of everything. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're the reason this is why it happened this. And it's like, are you looking to see what black men have done? Like literally black men kill their women 10 times more than like what's going on? Black men have five or six different baby mothers. They'll chill on their wives. Like, I'm not trying to say that black women don't do nothing, but we have to take part in your, not in your, specifically you, but in general. That's what black men do as well to black women. It's not just a black woman and they're doing this wrong and they need to stop doing this and they're doing this. and this. It's black men as well. They're the leaders, right? They're the leaders of the community, right? You look at the leader first. You don't look at the followers first. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. But, um, and also to add on to Shamali, um, there are lots of black people that choose to date someone that's white or another skin, um, um, race or culture, whatever, just because that reason you said that was, it's really small and minute. No, it's not. Literally it's not like there was a white person that said they wanted to date. There was a group of, um, um, NFL players, I believe it was, or NBA players. I can't remember group of them, black men. And they were in like a, um, I don't know if they were like at a restaurant or something. It was probably like seven or eight or nine or ten of them. And it was all like, they was like applauding for more mixed babies. Like, yes, more mixed babies, more mixed babies. I don't know. It was like a colorist thing. Like they don't want no darker skin complexion. All the women were white or either Hispanic. And all the guys were like a dark skinned black man. And they were all like, yes, more mixed babies. Promote more mixed babies. That right there tells me that they're just choosing the white people to have mixed children. They're not choosing on white people because they have a, a good relationship and the person just b- positively benefits their life and has a good, like, <clears throat> no, they're choosing them because they're white. They want to have a white child. That's self-hatred to me. To me, it is. Honestly, if you're just choosing to have that race just because. Honestly. But, I mean, hey, everyone has their preference. Do what you want to do. But that's the problem within itself. That's not a small group of people that's just choosing that. There's lots of people that say that type of stuff all the time. I want a mixed baby. Oh, I want a white woman because white women are more submissive. 
Oh, I want this because this, this, all these stereotypes. Mm. Um, and Doso, I don't think you was really listening to anything I was saying because I've been saying the whole time, there's no problem with interracial dating. There's no problem with interracial dating. There's no problem with you growing up in a mixed um, household or a mixed um, community. There's no problem with that. What I said was the problem is when you say you only want to date a white person just because they're white. I want to date a white person just because they are white. That's self-hatred in my eyes. And another thing I don't think no one really touched on. A lot of the times, a lot of the women, um, a lot of time, a lot of the women that, the white women that date the black man, they typically, not all the time, it's just a fetish for them. A lot of them just more so enjoy the sexual things in regards to that man instead of really anything else because they still would look at that man as a n-word with the hard er they still if something happens or go wrong they will call the cops immediately and say this n-word hard er has done this and i'm not saying every white woman but there's been several cases and there's been several times when black men have got jailed or locked up because the woman says she raped him don't get me wrong women do that period but there was more white women doing that saying they were drugged or raped by black men or harassed or touched. I have a, a cousin, older cousin, who they told when he was younger, like 16 years old, they said that he had, I guess, did something to this white girl. He never even touched that white lady. But back to the Emmett Till situation, he whistled at that white girl back in, I don't know what year that was, the 50s or 60s, and they killed him. And what? It wasn't even true. Honestly. See, in your eyes, in your eyes, that's self-hatred, because, of course, you would project someone to hate themselves for them having a preference that you wouldn't agree with. See, th th this is my point right here. This is my point right here. People projecting self-hatred because pe people project self-hatred on people that make their own decisions. And again, it's giving I want control. It's giving I want control over the men in my proximity. And black men do a lot of things. And black men do a lot of things fucked up to black women. Yes. Um, as far as cheating, abuse, um, we could run the whole nine if we want. But now, as far as as far as seeking other options outside of our race, um, yeah, black women are still doing the complaining. And it's not 50-50, it's not 60-40, no, it's 90 to 10. For every one of us that doesn't want you to step out, it's 10 of y'all that don't want us to step out. And it's and it's because and it's because of statements like this, because you, you think that black men hate themselves because they actually make their own decisions and they don't let you and they don't allow you to control their decisions. Now it's self hate. I, I don't I, I still like I'm still in very, very, very much disagreement. But you know what? I'm just gonna respectfully agree or disagree. And I'm gonna respectfully agree or disagree with you because you're not using, you know, any um ultimate language in this conversation. You're not the one using the words enemy and this and that so i'm not gonna you feel me i'm gonna respectfully agree or disagree because you're respectfully talking right now so i'm gonna respectfully agree or disagree but respectfully speaking as a black man we cannot control every black woman and as and every black woman cannot control every black man and again i don't know how long it's taken us to realize this is a black community but we can't control each other as much as we think we do first off K-I-N-G, not a king. The woman identified herself as mixed race. So pay the fuck attention, you raggedy Negro. They do that first. Go commit genocide on yourself. Nobody cares. Your mother should have aborted. That's what should have happened. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you interracial dating folks don't have the sense of a roach. A roach is out here having intercourse with water bugs. And bringing mixed bugs into existence. (sighs) 
you and your thinking is beneath me. And I hope you genocide yourself. We don't need you. When a roach got enough sense to recreate after its own kind. Shows the roach got more sense than you Negroes. A roach. You're not better than a roach. See, you say you don't care, but look how much emotion you're pouring into it. Your mother should have aborted you, you piece of shit. <laughs> look how mad you are when you don't get your way. Look how mad you are. You are only proving my point even further. Like, golly, can't even keep a respectful language over a disagreement. Like, let's look at the cat kingdom. Are lions preferring tigers? Are tigers preferring lynx? Or lynx preferring house cats. No Negro. They got enough sense. They got enough love. They got enough goddamn me nature. To know. To mate with their own kind. To recreate themselves. Guess what? Animals in captivity, in slavery like you Negroes, will mate with a species that's not their own. Yeah. And animals in captivity will also practice uh, homosexuality like you Negroes. Yeah. You're a slave. So now, because I was born on this planet to make my own decisions and I fuck who I want to fuck without any of y'all telling me who the fuck, now my mother should have aborted me. Th th again, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is look at, look at what people do when they can't control you. Look at what people do when they can't control you. They just shit talk you down the fucking mile. Look at this. Look at this. Exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I am talking about. Ain't nobody trying to control you. Get the fuck on. You are an unnatural Negro. And we don't let unnatural Negroes reproduce with us. So go on, spill your little raggedy seed in a void womb and genocide yourself. You're not going to create nothing that look like you, Negro. Fuck on. King, you keep mentioning something that you're bypassing. So no one's mad about interracial dating. That's what I said like for the 100th time. I said the problem within itself is when you prefer, when you want to date someone just solely because they are white. That's not a preference at all. Preference is I prefer apples over oranges. You enjoy both, but you prefer apples over oranges or you prefer oranges over apples. They're not saying, and you're not saying you prefer this over the other. You're literally saying, I only want this. That's not a preference. So stop getting the, 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 the two confused. Preference versus being discriminatory slash, slash, I guess, um, colorist or even internalized hatred for yourself and for your own kind. If you feel like you need to genocide your own race because of, um, you feeling like that's the best option and that's self-hatred for yourself and your own kind of people. Um, go ahead though. You can do what you want to do. You have free will. You could do what you want. So no one's going to stop you. You can go fuck whatever, pro procreate with whomever. But at this point, I really don't understand why are you not doing the things that you want to do. You're literally on here arguing about why you should be able to do it, but you could just go do it right now. Why even complain about it or even be on the app and try to Prove your point to do it when you can go and do it. <laughs> We're not stopping you at all. 
You have free will to do what you want to do. So go procreate with your white woman. Point blank, period. <laughs> oh, absolutely, sis. He want us to jump in the way. Stop! We want you. We love you, black men. We'll jump through hoops for you not to go to the pale face. Boy, bye. Niggas is going to do what they want, whether you in their way or not. That's what you don't realize, though. Because, you, because again, you looking for that shit. Or, or to put it in three simple words, nobody's chasing you. I'm going to just wrap it up with those three words, and I'm not going to say nothing else. Nobody's chasing you. And this is exactly why I said we need more interracial dating. To just get rid of all the hatred. And her, I, I agree with a lot of things you said. Except for like the whole um, big booty thing. Because, I mean, it's, sci it's scientifically proven when they look at um, women. Women are actually um, bigger than what they used to be. Were they always BBW women? Women with the badonk -a -donk as I like to say, yes, of course, but that wasn't all those women. I mean, that's why I was saying, if you go back and look at women and just even in family pictures and things like that, that, that wasn't a normal thing. It wasn't, it's not to the, it wasn't to the point where it is now where you have women walking around and every woman has these BBLs and these crazy figures wearing these um, waist trainers that are, making just their bodies unrealistic it it was never that way that's the only point i was pointing out but other than that i agree with a lot of what you said and some of the things king said i think was more directed toward um miss um uh, my yacht um and not to you um necessarily and to miss my yacht i'm not promoting genocide neither is king um but the genocide has already happened. Everything that you speak of that's going to happen and is ha it already happened. I'm not the original people. You're not the original people. Nobody on this stage is the original people at all. We're all mixed up. Everyone is for the most part. There may be some people that are not. But for the most part, when it comes to what we call Black Americans, um, which I don't say I'm black. I just say I'm an American. When it comes to black Americans, they're all mixed up. It, you know, I said on the clubhouse stage before, I said, well, what's pure black? What is that? Because I don't know what that is. What is it? It's, it doesn't exist. We're all mixed up. So what genocide do you speak of? It already happened. It's over and it's done with. We can't rewind. Time goes forward i understand the past i understand about slavery i understand about the white man and the white woman but that's over and done with i don't have to hang on to that i'm generations away from that just living in this world and i am allowed to have a different perspective i don't have to hold on to hatred from 400 500 thousands of years i don't have to hold on to that hatred at all I could just treat all humans like they're humans and not look at the color of their skin. When people speak the way you speak, Miss Maya, it's it actually shows more of the slavery in you because you actually believe the lie. Um, when religion first, um, when the you know with the well, when it comes to Christianity, you was never supposed to draw. God and stuff like that. You know, white people tricked them and they made the angels white and they made Jesus white. And they made you believe that color mattered. They made you think color made a group of people superior or where they were born made them superior. And it's just not true. And I just choose not to believe in the lie. You know, um, I've seen no human with superpowers. I've seen no human Besides characteristics or earlier when we talked about culture, the, you know, just foods people want to eat, way people act, um, 
it's like you know most people would say white people are very passive aggressive and sarcastic that's just something that's in their nature but other than that i don't, I don't see any special things that make humans so different from each other they're all the same most people want the same things they want they want love they want family um they want to be successful we all striving for the same things when it comes to life when you look at all races of all cultures all around this world they want the same thing you know it seems to me that you're preaching hatred and i'm preaching people need to come together because we're human that skin color doesn't matter and black people fail for the trick so now you just consume with you know even if you know what is so crazy though about this whole conversation is that i've seen like what i said to um miss kitty earlier right about her skin tone right the black women say oh black man need a black woman I do got a black woman. Oh, yeah, but I see you got you a light skin. So no answer will ever be good enough anyway. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's always, you still, you're going to keep moving the goalpost. Get with a black woman. I got a black woman. Oh, but she ain't dark enough. What? Oh, you only with that black woman because her hair a certain way. What? Oh, you only with her because... Uh, cause look, her nose ain't really that round and really that big. What are you talking about? So I'm not saying necessarily white and black people together. I'm just saying all people, we, we need to just abandon these old, these old ways, all these old lies. There is no superior race, especially here in America when it comes to music, all the cultures, the, the dances and, and everything like that. I, I seen um, Asian people now can do hip hop dancing better than black folk. We all take and steal from each other. We all eat each other's food. We all enjoy each other. We all travel and go to each other's countries. We do. We all take from each other. So I'm saying we all need to come together. This ain't genocide. This is about creating peace and people loving who they want to love and accepting each other and stop judging each other. But other than that, I, I really enjoyed the conversation. I appreciate everybody in that input. I I, I found something, even out from Mrs. May, I, I, I can honestly say that out of everything everybody said, I found at least one thing from everyone that I could agree with and stuff like that. And that's because I have understanding of people. And I think that's how we need to be. We need to be more understanding of each other and what we want and not quick to judge. Because if we did not like what the white man did to our people, surely we should not adopt that terrible behavior that and do the same thing in our future. It's like we've became that which we hate and have adopted all of their beliefs it, you know um i see a lot of conversations where black people are now saying like black people are the most racist now it's like weird it's like we're going um we're going backwards and I don't even think people realize that times are changes and things are getting better. And her, you brought up Emmett Till a couple of times. The most important thing that people should take from the Emmett Till story is that it was very messed up. But the thing that's like when you said with white people and how they feel about black people, all white people people don't like don't all white people do not hate um, black people. Man, I, I, I've had white people do amazing things for me, like really look out for me and don't know me from a can of paint that done looked out for me. Like, seriously, it's the same thing when people talk about um, police officers and stuff. I've had and I'm talking about white police officers, me being young, me being out there acting like a knucklehead that done really looked out for me that I would be in a I would have been in a lot of trouble had those people not helped me out. 
and um, told me and gave me advice and sat me down when they could have arrested me or they or times where they could have gave me a ticket because I'm racing around like I used to do because I had a souped up car and then I had the motorcycle and stuff. And I, instead of writing me a ticket or arresting me or stuff, they actually pulled me to the side and talked and had a conversation with me. So it ain't no all white people. Um, like don't like black people most white people don't even live around black people to even hate them and most of them suffer from ignorant ignorance which brings us to Emmett Till when it when what happened to Emmett Till happened his mama said leave the casket open and when the news article went around and the picture was shown you had a lot of white people that said we won't stand for this. But see, that's the thing that people don't want to talk about. Yeah, you had some evil white people that did that, and you had a woman that lied on a young boy. But what you have to remember is it couldn't have been all white people um, hated black people because you had white people that was from where that happened at that didn't stand for that and didn't agree with that. And you got to remember that Emmett Till was the way he was because where he was from, he could get away with stuff like that. So where he was from, he had not experienced white people like that. So it was never a whole area of white people um, hating black people. You might have had white people that was ignorant. Maybe they didn't want to live around you. Maybe they didn't want you to marry their daughter, but they did not necessarily hate you. And we saw in times like that, the same thing happened with George Floyd when that happened. I saw a white man out there protesting. He jumped up in the air and drop kicked the police officer so hard in the head. It was unbelievable. And so I, I remember going out to work and riding around and I actually had white people approaching me saying, hey, man, um, we saw what happened with George Floyd. Um, I might be ignorant, but is there any way I can help anything? Because I don't like stuff like that. I'm not like that. I don't agree with that. So it's not no all white people hate black people. That's a lie. They just may be ignorant, but when they see the evil, you have those white people that will stand up and say, hey, we don't stand for that. And to end it on a positive note, Miss Maya, I, I, I have signed you up for interracialdating.com. We're going to get you a good, wholesome, white man negro ain't no such thing as a good wholesome white man you i don't want uh goddamn me um uh, what they call them <laughs> um, cooties which is head lice and i don't want bed bugs okay i don't sleep with animals okay let's go right there um and no we cannot mate with them. They are not the same species. You don't know anything about history. You are caught up in white supremacy of propaganda of today. Now, Aboriginal men can get uh, pale women in, uh, pregnant like a mule. But when pale men would put their seed into an aboriginal woman she would notice that that was a foreign body in her body and spontaneously aborted that's why they have this thing called rogam is it rogam rate rogam where they give women a shot to make them positive for a rhesus monkey. So that they don't abort the baby and don't see it as not their species. Okay. And so with the mixing, the blood is mixing all up. Now, some Aboriginal women uh, have... Or positive for monkey blood. Or RH positive. Now, because of the mixing, some pale folks 
don't have uh, uh, monkey blood. They have aboriginal blood. So don't talk about stuff you don't know. That this is where the ignorance come in and the ignorance of your statements. Uh, <clears throat> you know, again, just self annihilate and, and don't talk about it. We don't want to hear about it. Go and be uh, not as intelligent as a roach, as an ant, as a beetle, as a spider, as a bird. Go. And you want the forbidden fruit that white men will kill you over. Ask Emmett Till. Genocide, nigga. <laughs> Miss my act. There's nothing you can say to make me stop loving you. I swear I love your energy. I just don't know where these original people are that you're talking about because everybody's already all mixed up the blood is already tainted so all i'm saying is the war has been lost who who's pure black or pure anything anymore white people ain't pure nothing either you know i think it's all a lie everybody's all mixed up none of us on this stage is an original people we're not, you know, thanks to slavery and migration and people traveling everywhere. I just, I don't know who these pure people are. The blood is already tainted. I don't know why you think it's not tainted. It is, you know, and I don't know why you said there's n I don't know why you said there's no good, wholesome white man. They are. They call them good old boys. They call them that. You got you to gotta come to the South for that. Okay? So. Please, 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 if you get a chance. Even if we're in another room and you remember and you see me. Just explain to me why you think that the blood is pure. And. Another thing I wanted to tell you, too, is when we in some of these other threads, would it hurt you to just have my back on something that I say? You can't possibly disagree with everything I say. You could like, back me up on one point because I made some good points in some of them other rooms and you just deny all my points. You just shoot them down. And I'm like, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? I see you as uh, as a black queen and you just keep comparing me to a roach i i think that's a form of self-hate because i i'm willing to big you up i'm just saying you could it wouldn't hurt you to agree to one good point that i made so no slavery in my lineage and that's not true everybody is not mixed up so stop again with the propaganda, these false premises you don't know shit about. Mm-hmm, love you too, but get your shit together. Stop propagating this boot shit. <clears throat> I have a friend right now. She went to the Native American clinic in California because they was trying to prove to her while she was in the hospital that she was black. And they end up proving she was American Indian on both sides. So she is pure blood. And all her family is. In order to get to her in descent, that means everybody else before her is the same. So stop, stop with the propaganda. I know plenty of people who are not mixed. I can't say the same, but you still see that and you can't tell that I'm in, you know, I got anything else. That's why I put my picture there as a child. So stop the propaganda. I'm going to put my sister up there 
who also uh, that I'm talking about that did the blood test. It was a blood test. And um, one of the popular um, <clears throat> labs, uh, Quest Diagnostic. You may have a Quest Diagnostic near you. Yeah, they did a blood test. I'm ancient to America. I did a DNA test. So please stop. Stop these lies. And you can't speak for everybody, so stop that lie too. Yeah, I I know Quest Diagnostics. You know, I'm uh, I'm gonna go down there um too, get mine done. So now, if my tech come back, you know, then don't 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 deny me because of my previous words when I'm when I show up and say we family. So because you you gave me the inspiration now to go um dig deeper into the uh into my past so don't so if i come back and prove we family don't change your mind up on me now and say nah 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 you mix so but i i understand what you're saying and stuff like that but i i promise you my intent was never to uh push hate and stuff but i i definitely can see your point of view as to why it it would be that you know for you i i definitely can understand you know i think um you know what i can admit that my solution because i was a little upset and tired of the fighting at the time i can admit that it was short-sighted so i can admit that but um it wasn't my intent to be uh to push any message of hate or genocide but understanding now where you coming from and your background like and what you saying the story of your sister you know the fact that they was trying to prove she's something that she not i can see clearly that for someone to say that, hey, um, you should interracially date. You definitely all right, you know, in that in that aspect to say what well, that would be genocide. That would be a hateful message to say to somebody, um, especially if they are not mixed. It's just I think I was going off too because I had a friend of mine and he had his done. Um, when he went down there, became a mason and all that, so he got into all that stuff. He had his blood work done, and it showed all these other different things that was in him, and it shocked him. He was a little upset, to be honest. To be honest, he he was upset about that, you know. He, um, and stuff like that. But you know, hmm. It's crazy. Maybe not all of us are mixed up like I thought. I can admit to that. We we might not be. I w- I would have to um I'd have to revisit that and stuff like that. Cause I honestly I didn't think it was really too many people that was pure running around, honestly. And I think that's kind of what we all been taught, so you know. I'm so proud of you, sending you much love and a hug through the app. It's just uh, good that you can be reasonable and not hear the facts and still continue. I really appreciate that. Love, love, love. Also, tell your friend in case he has some so-called European or Asian ancestry, not to worry because the original people of those lands, like my sis, are uh, Aboriginal, dark-skinned, woolly-haired people. So you shouldn't think that they are pale faces, uh, unless they are pale faces. So not to worry. Please check out this link. Risky behavior.